Hey, hello, welcome back to my little garage full of machines. I'll tell you what, I go and go and go, and then I gotta slow down and kinda backtrack a little bit. My uh, old Monarch Double E here, the 1951 manufacturing wave, needs bearings in this uh, motor generator. And it weighs over 200 pounds, so I gotta I'm going to have to slide the thing out the back here, move those toolboxes, and uh, get that out and fix it, put new bearings in it. it it's been running uh, steady for me for uh, 30 years, so I guess it's time to do something. Okay, hey, I've got some grinding over here I'm doing, and uh, I think I'm going to show these before. These are uh, automotive um, line boring bar. Uh, main bearing cutters and these are kind of common and um, for that type of work and and for line boring bars real short uh, cutters like this and all of these are I was looking at them is just quarter inch threading tools that uh, they ground across the top of them uh, ten thousandths kind of shortened them ten thousandths this way you can see the carbide, I think, from this angle. And maybe you can see it from the top, too. But they just ground across the steel and the carbide. So I gotta sharpen these. And uh, I got a real simple thing here. Let me get this swung around. And uh, I got one in here, just in this vise. And I got this tilted five degrees. There's five degrees uh, relief right here this one's kind of chipped up I'm taking the worst worst one and all I do to line this up is uh, I squared the head up there got it on at, at 90 degrees is I just put a, a ruler across the diamond wheel and then swing this over and just uh, let me loosen this in the vise a little bit then see I can just move it a little bit, put the ruler against it, get it square with the wheel, and uh, and then grind it. Then then to do the other side, all you have to do is just flip that. See how short these are so short? Just flip it around that way and do the same thing. And uh, you can get the, uh, I'll get the edges like factory, you know, it'll just be per perfect using uh, the cutter grinder. Then I'm going to have to do a, a slight nose radius, so there's always a lot to do. <laughs> hey, I hope you, you're all doing well and, and staying warm. It's like, uh, it's warmed up outside to 13 degrees and that is an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> but it's supposed to get, uh, I don't know, up in the 20s, maybe 30s tomorrow with freezing rain. And that's another thing in itself. Well, okay, I'm going to start grinding this and I'll, I'll click the camera on and, and show some of that action. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take this um, automotive line boring bar cutter. It's very short and hold it in the vise here. Then I'm going to take this ruler and go across the diamond wheel. If I don't lose it in the vise jaw. Come on now. It's a lot easier if you don't have the camera going, I think. Okay, something just about like that. If I can <clears throat> get the vise just slightly tight. And I can kind of push that in there. Just a lot like that. Let me see if I can move this back just a little bit. I'm going to line it right there. Because 
to get the vice shown straight, so it'll be easier. Tricky little things. We'll get a rhythm going here and, and they'll go faster. That looks awfully good. Okay, so I got that snug. And I'm going to fire it up. <laughs> Looks good. Now I'll have to do the radius on the nose, and there's uh, plenty of room to do that. I'm going to grind it back a little bit on the other side, too. Okay, we'll be back with more grinding. Okay, I got a little setup here um, to do the radius. On the nose of these tiny cutters, and I'm just going to do it by hand. They're uh, and it's very easy with uh, this little setup here. Just, just a little bit. See, that's all it took. these others are doing. I think that may be the last one. Hope this one needs just a little bit more. There. I don't know if you can see that. Looks really good. Very good. Job. Okay. Okay, so the last thing I'm doing is just taking this uh, diamond uh, lap here and just easing the radius that I, I ground on the diamond wheel there over. Just so gentle. <laughs> oh, just a tiny little radius on there is what... Uh, the sample had and I got it uh, these used ones sharp and just like the sample just like that a cutter grinder is very handy for all sorts of industries okay 
Well, I hope you all have a great Christmas, and uh, I'm sure I'm going to try to have one. And it's going to warm up a little bit. It's in the teens right now. Better warm up a little bit for Christmas here. I hope you all have a good one. Bye-bye.